Hi everybody out there in YouTube land. It is Tuesday, January 16th of 2018. I'm out at the hangar at the moment. And I would say, ooh, it's probably a quarter mile of visibility. Let me show you. How's it look? Pretty good? Yeah. So, not too much activity out here today, but I'm going to try to do a little bit on my Aerolite. And I'm going to start by drilling out the, the wheel pants. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other pant off. And right now I only have the, the one, the left side, the port side. I'm going to start using nautical terms, aeronautical terms, starboard, port, um, starboard right, port left. Yeah, it's, it's just me. I got I to gotta keep saying it to get used to which side's which because, you know, still learning. Anyway, yeah, got the one off. And I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to get as close as I can. There's a little dot right on top of it. That's where I'm going to put the, the, uh, the little LEDs. And they look yellow maybe to you guys, but they're not yellow when they fire up. They're, they're totally white. But basically what, it's not a, um, I wouldn't say it's a functional, Runway light, it's more of a marker, marker light just to put some more light out. When I, you know, once I'm up there, somebody off in the distance, they'll, they may notice one of these lights that I have fired up. And being noticeable up in the sky is a good thing. Uh, no mid airs, you know what I mean? In any case, um, I also might take off my struts and my strut supports and begin using the yellow because I've gotten a couple of, of opinions and the yellow seems to be the, the consensus. I was going to go between this color and the, I think it's, what the hell is the name of this, satin blue, which I'll show you what the satin blue looks like on the wheel chocks. I painted the wheel chocks. That's the satin blue. And I think I'm going to paint these yellow, personally, because I want them seen. So there'll be yellow struts and strut supports, and there'll be yellow um, cable covers. So there'll be some accent where this V is, and that V is, and there's two on the other side, um, the other wing. So yeah. So I'm going to cut it off for now, and I'll cut back in once I get everything set up and I start taking stuff off, drilling or whatever, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I don't know which one turned off. I think it was the other camera. Probably batteries are exhausted. Which figures. <laughs> Harbor Freight batteries suck.
Just an FYI, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking about, just before I get this guy going, I'm gonna take some training. I was gonna take training in a Quicksilver MX, um, but I talked to Dennis, Carly of Aerolite 103. He also is a Challenger dealer. Challenger is a two-seater. So after talking to Dennis, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a two-seat course, training course. So this way I can get my sport pilot license straight away. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, so I can fly this and then I'll be able to fly anything with uh, another passenger in it, which is my hopes. So, okay, at this point, the other one's dead. I just came around inside and looked at it. As you can see, the camera on the tripod's gone. It's not lit. <coughs> so let's see. <coughs> Excuse me, my guess is batteries. I'm not seeing it, but eh, I don't know. So in any case, let me raise this up a bit. Put these guys over here. Okay. So that's a pick. I'm not sure whether the batteries are going to last or not, but okay, let me get my, where are ya? My drill. And let's see, I think I want a half inch. No, three eighths inch, looks like. Yeah, looks like a three eighths, but we'll double check. One, two, three eighths. Okay, so that's a three eighths hole. It has to go in. So we want three eighths, which is this guy. I'll drill a Rooney. And hopefully that music in the background is so low that YouTube police won't catch it. So, <laughs> unless somebody tells on you. Okay, now let me get my little starter punch so I don't drift. Let's put you in the middle. Okay, drop the fairing.
Okay. El Remem Rooney. Okay, let's see if we got if I got success. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. A little frickin' piece because I pulled it out too fast. So next time I can't do that. want to see how well it fits okay I gotta ream it just a little more so maybe I'll go start with a pilot drill um, yeah I might go up a little bit well now nah, let me just ream it out with this guy if I go up too much it's not gonna fit right Hopefully you're seeing all this. Mess ups and everything. I should put a lock washer on. 